Lisa Itell, Senior Editor with Design World. And I'm Paul Heaney, Design World Editorial Director. Today, Lisa and I will be taking a look at the Parker Hannafin ETT electric tubular motor. The ETT is a direct thrust motor that works for linear handling as well as pick and place applications. The specific model we have here from Parker is the ETT032 actuator. It's an energy efficient alternative to pneumatic cylinders because it directly generates linear motion without mechanical transmission elements like ball screws and belts and gearboxes. The tubular motor has two main components, the rod shaft and stator with integrated feedback. The shaft is a stainless steel tube containing neodymium magnets that, thanks to their high performance, deliver impressive thrust values, even up to several hundred newtons. Now the main body has a stator winding, feedback electronics, and performance bearings. So the ETT can work for long periods without additional cooling. The ETT tubular motor is rated IP67 to work in harsh environments. It comes in three lengths and sizes. It's adhering to pneumatic flange norm DIN ISO 1552, and that simplifies mechanical integration. Sounds cool. So let's take a look at uh, this demonstration model that Parker sent us. All right, I'm just going to turn on the power here. I'm going to hold it down so we don't uh, flop all over the table. Thanks, Paul. Um, Parker has shipped this unit to us pre-programmed to home upon startup and then execute a series of motion strokes here. The ETT actuator we have here came with an IPA04-HC servo drive controller so that we can see the actuator move a little bit. That's right. Uh, this drive controller is based on ACR control. It features a dual port Ethernet interface, programmable standalone motion control with onboard I.O., virtual access capabilities, and up to 400 watts of continuous shaft power. But again, this linear motor based actuator um, is the focus here uh, today, and it's got high efficiency because it's mechanically simple. Um, again, this particular version that we've got um, can output up to 118 newtons of continuous force and 472 newtons of peak force. Very cool. In one ETT application, a supervision system manages the boxes and moves them onto different conveyors following their layout. Here, twin ETT tubular motors can synchronize to quickly adapt to box dimensions. Quick positioning is the main advantage. In another application, an ETT can help cut material into pieces of identical length. Here, the ETT's high force and synchronization with the conveyor are key benefits. Plus, the controllability of the ETT makes it easy to change material formats. Well, for more information, visit www.parker.com, or you can always visit motioncontroltips.com for the latest need-to-know engineering information. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Paul.